Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my 2019 updated skincare routine. Um, so I recently put a poll on Instagram asking you guys if you guys wanted to see my updated skincare routine and a lot of you guys did say yes. So I'll be posting a video on YouTube obviously, but then um, I will be posting a stories. So I actually asked you guys if you guys wanted to see it on YouTube or Instagram stories or whatever and some of you guys did Instagram stories So I will post like some photos of the products I use but obviously I'll explain everything more in depth in this video So this is what my skin looks like without anything at all I just washed my face and I'll go into what I used on my face in a second But I am going to go through every skincare step with you that I usually do in the mornings um, The nighttime stuff I will obviously talk about the products But I won't show you because I'm just doing my din daytime skincare Ugh, my daytime skincare routine. As you can see, my skin isn't perfect, um, but I'm very proud of where my skin is. Um, I am now 25, so my skin looks pretty decent, I guess. My skin obviously has imperfections, so right now I do have a pimple here, um, but that's okay. Um, everyone gets pimples sometimes, um, and I'll show you guys how I treat it and everything. So yeah, let's get started. My skin type is oily around the T-zone and normal around my cheeks. I don't really suffer from dryness, only in the winter time. I do find that I do have a little bit more dryness because um, the winds are so harsh and the air is so dry here. This is my sleeping shirt, so I hope I don't look too gross right now. But anyways, I have a few cleansers here I want to show you guys. So before I even tone, my skin is dry right now. I need to tone it and everything, but I want to talk about this first. So these are the three cleansers that I have been using lately. So these ones are for the AM. So these ones right here, this one is Some By Me. This is the acne cleanser. I'll link all these products if I can find them down in my description box down below, so don't worry. Um, acne cleanser. This one has AHA, BHA, and PHA. Um, good for clearing the skin. I find that my skin has been clear. I'm not too sure if this is the reason, but it's just a cleanser and it works nicely for the AM. And for as well for the daytime, um, sometimes I do use this one as well. This one is by Make Prem. This is the low irritant cleanser. It has a pH level of 5.5 which is good for the skin because your skin is slightly acidic. So I like this one. I like the really like the texture of this one. As for nighttime when I do cleanse my skin, I will use the mango seed cleansing foam. Um, I've been using this for a long time. If you guys have seen any of my skincare routines from before, I will link them over here obviously throughout this whole video if you guys want to see um, my old AM and my PM skincare routine. Um, I'll link those up here if you guys want to see them. Um, they're just older videos. Basically, I talk about the same things, but I'm just updating on what you, updating you guys on what I use. Anyways, so usually in the daytime, I use my hands to cleanse my face. Um, I don't like to irritate my skin too, too much. So I like to just grab the cleanser, squeeze a little bit, wet my hands, and then wet my hands again under the water after the cleansing foam's on it, and lather up in my hands, and I just cleanse my face very gently in circular motions. That's it, then I cleanse it off um, with water, but for nighttime, I do use my Clarisonic Mia 3. Um, I use it only on the lowest setting, as I've discussed before in my other skincare routine videos. Um, but I like this, especially when I'm wearing makeup. Um, if I'm not wearing makeup that day, usually at night, I'll just like use this without the Clarisonic. But if I am wearing makeup, I find that this cleanse is much better and gets more of the makeup off and the gunk off and the oil off. So I really like this one. I've been using it for years and years now. Um, really like this guy. I don't like to carry this with me when I travel though because it is a little bit clunky but when I do travel with it and I'm wearing a lot of makeup, it is very very useful. So before I move on to toning, I want to talk about a exfoliator, a physical kind of scrub. This is Mizan. This is the apple smoothie peeling gel. So I've discussed peeling gels on my channel before. Um, I like them, especially when you've been like, how do you say it? Like your skin is like super dry and flaky and you just need to slough off the extra layer. Um, I like this guy right here. I only do it maybe like once a week, 
like if there's a buildup of like dead skin cells but because i do use other products in my skincare routine that helps to slough off dead skin cells and have cell regeneration all that fun stuff i don't need to use this that often and you shouldn't be exploiting your skin with a physical scrub every day anyways because it's too harsh for your skin um so i only use this like max once a week um if i remember <laughs> it does smell like apples um it's nice and gentle and it's not like those St. Ives scrubs, so I'm very happy about that. So next comes toning, and lately I've been using this guy, kind of, but then I always come back to this because this one was gifted to me by Michelle, so I've been using this because I want to use it up, and I love the smell of rose water. Um, this is the Melvita. I talked about this in my favorites video. Um, this is a rose water. Technically, you can use it as like an essence, but I've been using it as a toner and then laying on multiple layers of it um, as well. But then this one is my ultimate favorite. This is the Thayer's, what's it called again? Witch Hazel with aloe vera in it, I believe. And it smells like roses. I love this stuff. As you can see, I have almost, I'm almost at the bottom. So I do need to tone my skin right now. Let's do that. In my previous skincare videos, I do discuss which kind of cotton sheets I use. So the one I've been using is the Muji. And this one is like the raw cotton though. It's not like the... Um, bleach cotton so I just put my toner onto one of these guys and then I just wipe my face being super gentle so I'm just removing any extra stuff I just want to make sure my skin is like nice and clean and prepped for the rest of my skincare and I do this for daytime and nighttime my skincare routine and the products I use do change between like daytime and nighttime so <laughs> I want to just talk about a couple more products that I use after. So after I tone, depending on what I'm doing that day or or how busy I am or how much of a rush I am in, um, I will use this guy. Um, so these two are basically like hydrating essences. Um, this one's called the Aromatica Ab Rose Absolute First Serum. I've definitely talked about this multiple times on my channel before. Um, this guy right here, super moisturizing. It's thick though. I'm not gonna be using this today. I usually like to use this at nighttime. But this guy right here, this is again an ultimate favorite of mine. This guy is the Hadalabo um, Hyaluronic Acid. This is not really like cheap, but it's really good. Um, basically, Hyaluronic Acid. Again, I've talked as well as this before. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it's found naturally in your skin, and I it does keep a hydrating kind of layer. To your skin so your night skin is like nice and plump and when i'm putting in products i realized before i was very aggressive when i was applying my products i was like rubbing it in my skin but like obviously you don't want you want to be super gentle with your skin so i've just been patting it patting everything or just doing circular motions and i'm bringing this down my neck I do have a lot of products that I do go through or like I change up once in a while but I also obviously just want to talk about the stuff I've been using lately so these guys are my serums so usually I would be just using this one in the daytime this is the Claire's Vitamin C um, Freshly Juiced Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop it's basically a vitamin C serum so um, I've learned a lot about vitamin C since my last two skincare videos um, basically it's okay if this vitamin C is slightly yellow. I will link down below Gothamista's vi video about like vitamin C and the color of it and um, if you can still use the vitamin C or not. Basically, as long as it's not like a dark amber color, it's fine. Um, it's normal that vitamin C does turn a little bit yellow because it's in a clear bottle like this. It When it gets prolonged, exposure to sunlight it will change color um but the effectiveness um is still there it might not be as effective as if it were clear but um it is still good to use so anyways vitamin c good obviously for um cell regeneration and it is also photoprotective i like to use this in the daytime but lately i've been using this guy the ordinary this is the buffet serum and this guy's like feeling is like really nice actually um it's super hydrating and um i don't know i can't update you guys on what i feel about it yet but i think it's been good so far and my skin hasn't reacted to it so i quite like this this is basically a peptide serum so it has like matrixol blah 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 in it and basically it's supposed to help with anti-aging i can't remember all the ingredients there's like there's like different amino acids in here i have no idea there's oh, so many ingredients i don't have the box with me right now so i can't remember off the top of my head but it's supposed to be good with anti-aging and hydration and i need that right now Okay, so as for 
my AHAs or BHAs or PHAs. I'll show you which ones I've been using. I've talked about this one before. This one is Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting BHA Liquid. It's a 2% one. I love this stuff to death. I do really need to um, get a new bottle or a couple new bottles because I'm running dangerously low on it. Um, this guy has definitely helped with my skin tone and texture, sorry, my skin texture, and also the amount of blackheads that appear on my face. If I find that if I don't use it nightly um, in the PM, I will be getting like more, how do you say it, more like redness and I'm already red here more redness and more black blackheads around my nose and basically just a lot of oil so basically this helps with enlarged pores or the appearance of enlarged pores and it helps to even out the skin texture basically salicylic acid is obviously you guys know it helps to treat um, acne and like stuff like that because it's basically gonna help unclog those pores i keep putting these because like i these are quotes like they are not my direct language of describing skincare but anyways um i find that it does definitely help i've been using this for i can't remember maybe two years now i really like this stuff um i highly recommend you try using an aha bha or a pha um so i will link some articles down below about vitamin c and ahas and bhas um so that's what i'm just like i swear by this you need to exfoliate your skin at least chemically and i only use this at nighttime i do not use this in the daytime because technically it can irritate your skin a little bit in the sun it can so especially with ages if you use ages definitely use it in the pm or and if you cannot you have to use it in the am always wear sunscreen so this is a newer discovery from this year um yes i'll did send this to me um for me to review i remember in a video i can't remember which one but i will link it here if you guys want to see it so this guy it's like an AHA or a BHA, but it is kind of like an improved version in the sense that you can use it in the daytime as well and it doesn't cause sensitivities. And you can use this before like makeup and stuff and it helps your skin look nice and dewy. Um, so with this guy, um, I it is quite sticky. I like it though. Um, I haven't noticed any results. Maybe because I've been using this one so often and I'm used to this guy. But I mean, I think it creates a little bit of a glow for me after I use it. So anyways, I'm going to be using it this morning. And again, this helps with like exfoliation. So I just grab a little bit and it a little bit does go a long way with serums and this these exfoliant stuff. Um, you don't want to use too much. And I don't combine my BHAs and AHAs or PHAs. I only use one at a time just because you don't know how sensitive your skin is. Maybe some people can handle it. I, I know I've read articles where some people combine it, but I don't want to do that because that is a little bit risky for me, I think. And when you do skincare, it's normal for your skin to go red because you are increasing the blood circulation in your skin. So totally normal. It's okay. So if you can see after I applied this, it's like sticky. <laughs> But you can see like how nice and like glowy my cheek is right now. It's crazy. Um, I always say if you're not going to wear makeup, at least focus on your skincare. So I'm going to moisturizer next, okay? So this, literally this is the only moisturizer I've been using for the past three months maybe. Like minus when I'm on vacation because I can't bring this big guy with me on vacations. But literally this is like the only thing I've been using. Um... It's great and so it's me quite a while. I feel like I'm at the end of it though, like or like the like I don't know. It feels very top heavy right now, which means the pump is going upwards um, and the product is going upwards. So this is the COSRX Light Fit Real Water Toner to Cream. The name is so deceiving. I don't even know why they call it toner to cream. Maybe because it is so light and airy on the skin and it feels like water, I guess. It's so nice. I honestly do love this. I raved about this in my January favorites, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, so right here, I just put a little bit, honestly, and it's so moisturizing for me right now. It's moisturizing enough at least um, for the hotter months. I don't know if I'll use this in the winter months, but this is what I'm using right now. So we're almost at the end. Um, this is the eye cream that I've been using. This is the snail eye cream from Maison. Um, and this is 
a really great eye cream if you like light feeling eye creams i know i was using the what was it called again the innisfree jeju orchid eye cream for the longest time i still like that one but i find that it's too thick now especially for the season right now because i'm filming in summer it is a little bit too thick for me so i will go back to using that after i use this for the summer so this one super light super light it's like it's kind of the same texture as the light fit cream in the sense that it feels like water on your skin but it is moisturizing so i'll let that sink in for a little bit and then i'm going to be going in with my sunscreen so this guy is a sunscreen that i've been using for ages now this is the claire's soft airy uv essence and this is the only sunscreen i've been using i know i have a lot of like japanese sunscreens that I have to finish up but i just been gravitating towards this i just really like this um it isn't as light and watery as the japanese sunscreens but it doesn't have that smell that the japanese some of the japanese sunscreens have it has like a some of them have a very alcoholy smell and that's why it kind of makes it liquidy i think um and so light but this one is light too it doesn't leave like a sticky feeling and for sunscreen you do want to use quite a bit more the better you want to cover your whole face i hope you guys don't mind that there's like a mirror behind me i just moved the mirror um like a couple months ago or if you guys noticed i think it was a couple months ago or a few months ago that i moved the mirror to behind me when i film um it's not because of for filming it's just i like my mirror there instead of where my clothing rack is because it's a little bit too close to my clothes i always show you guys in my videos but this is the burt's bees b sex lip balm this is the only lip balm that i like to use that eos stuff is bad like you know those round little balls that like are like lip balms i hate those those are terrible. Those are not good. Anyways, this is not supposed to be talking about that. But anyways, I just thought of it because like my sister recently was using it as because she got it gifted to her and like it's terrible. It, that stuff makes like a film on your lips and it doesn't actually like feel like it's moisturizing your lips or creating a barrier. It just feels like it's like gunking on your lips. Anywho, so I also want to talk about how I've been treating like like little pimples because i don't have like acne um so this is not a video for treating acne per se i would definitely recommend other channels if you're looking to treat acne these are just like the basic skin clearing kind of products like if you want to like reduce acne scars and stuff like that like obviously these products are great but if you have active acne caused by like fungal or bacterial kind of causes or hormonal causes this is not the video for you i think um definitely i would check out other channels or even um i would just google it or youtube it because um i know everyone who watches my videos will have different skin types um but if you guys just wanted to like listen and everything that's totally okay anyways so this guy i just ramble all the time before i even explain a product this is like really annoying so anyways this is the cleaning clear Persa gel 5 this is benzyl peroxide so when you use this you definitely want to be careful because it can cause sensitivities um for your skin if you are outside in the sun so i don't like to use this in the morning i just use this at night as a treatment so because i do have the pimple here i will use this tonight on this pimple and it does basically dry out the pimple um and i've been using this since you like high school so i really like this product um yeah when i was in high school i used to have really 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 um how do you say it like really bad hormonal breakouts on my forehead and it didn't help that i used to wear bangs um which basically like trapped bacteria and oil there before 11th grade um i had really good skin it was like amazing everyone always said like you never break out your skin is so clear and there's no redness and whatever is because like there was no hormonal problems like i guess my puberty was late or something but yeah i didn't have any problems and then when the 11th grade came i was like suffering through it so i like was like freaking out i was like what do i do so that's when i started like researching more about skincare so i would say like it went away because like i maybe like the hormonal phase was over less stress i don't know um it could be so many things like you know how people give like acne uh, clearing advice um what may work for them may not work for you so for me it was like 
learning more about skincare and like cleansing and removing makeup that's the most important because i did wear foundation back then learning to remove makeup well is so important and then learning about different products to use on your skin so i learned a little bit about the benzoyl peroxide and the salicylic acid um to help clear the skin um but as i've gotten older without any of those like big breakouts anymore use those techniques still kind of apply um so yeah i really highly recommend reading those articles i will link down below about like exfoliating and stuff like that with ahas or bhas okay so i do want to talk about these sheet masks um these ones i don't do that often to be quite honest maybe once a month if i remember or in the winter time more because i get a little bit more dry but um I know some people might disagree with me saying like, oh, I sheet mask every day or every week or every other day. Um, honestly, that depends on you. But for me, I don't think I really need to mask that often. Um, the reason being is that I think my skincare routine covers most of my skincare needs. So these sheet masks are just like an extra. Like if my need to be like glowing for the next day, it just adds a little bit of a boost or glowing kind of moisturizing boost um so i will use one of these honestly it doesn't matter which brand i totally don't care as long as it's a reputable brand or some brand that doesn't like irritate your skin like if you buy those really cheapo like bulk ones i remember from like ebay or something those ones are terrible they stink and they don't actually moisturize and they're like gloopy and gross but anyways i just buy a like, random road shop brands um from korea or the taiwanese masks are really good i know some people swear by like their 30 dollars sheet masks or whatever but honestly that's such a waste of money i'd rather you guys spend that 30 dollars on like one product that will you can use like every day or something or even a sunscreen to protect your skin rather than like wasting like 30 dollars on like one product that you use one time that is just feeds in your own insecurity and then anyways that's not it anyway so i think yeah sheet masks are great for especially for a boost um basically it doesn't matter which one like for these ones like for example snail technically is supposed to help with um um rejuvenation not rejuvenation like cell regeneration and like keeping your skin elastic and hyaluronic is supposed to keep your skin elastic as well and it's supposed to be hydrating so i mean they're essentially the same thing you can leave it on your skin for like 20 minutes it's fine um i could go on and on about sheet mask and how they are like um so kind of like overhyped and everything but anyways um that's about it uh, for my skincare routine i hope you guys enjoyed that um so you guys can see i talked about this whole video without wearing any makeup and i am quite proud of my skin from where it's at um i used to be super embarrassed about leaving the house without wearing any makeup at all but as i've gotten older and my skincare routine has gotten better and more concise or at least concise to the point of like what kind of things i need not the products exactly um I just feel better so i hope that this was helpful for you guys in any kind of way um if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down in my comment section down below and i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys have a good day bye, bye.